is 7 News Morning Edition with Sarah Cumming. Good morning. A mother and her baby are among three people unaccounted for after an explosion and fire tore through a convenience store in Sydney's Inner West. Three others were injured in the blast at Roselle. Sean Berry is at the scene. Good morning, Sean. Firefighters dug one of the injured men out of the rubble. That's right, Sarah. He was buried by this huge initial explosion that rocked the neighbourhood. It may have actually heat from the flames. Fire says he was underneath an industrial fridge and all they could see was one hand sticking up. They dug him out and he was taken to hospital, luckily with non-life-threatening injuries. Now, two more people were also injured in the blast. Uh, they were believed to be upstairs and they were hit by flying glass. And we now know that three more people are missing. They are a 31 year old mother and her one-year-old baby boy as well as a 30-year-old man who was in a separate apartment. Emergency crews say they do indeed at this stage fear the worst. The blast itself was felt hundreds of metres away. Glass across the road was blasted out of shop fronts and uh, look it, it woke up the neighbourhood. Lots of people ran out. Some have told us that they saw a garbage truck that was passing by and, and they said the driver would have seen everything. Another one told us that uh, you know the, the garbage truck saw someone running from the from the blaze and driving off in a car and, and police were here a short while ago gathered around a cigarette lighter a lot of people came out uh, let's have a listen to what some of them had to say and indeed let's see what they filmed the neighbors were screaming one of the one, one of their flatmates was 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 still in there um, and uh, it, it, all, it all happened so quickly. It was only when we walked around the front into Darling Street that we just saw this huge fireball. Like, we, no one knew what was going on. Like, the police were just escorting us down the street. Um, there were families, like, like, with their kids. Like, everyone was quite freaked out. Incredible scenes, Sean. And the streets in the area remain closed? Yeah, portion of Darling Street, a very busy uh, Sydney street, remains blocked off. In fact, we're about to be moved on. The investigation seems seems to have widened in, in the last last five minutes. Um, we are told that the building itself uh, does remain very unstable. Emergency crews uh, were finding it hard to get into search uh, because of that, but we're told they are now in there searching the rubble. They have uh, dogs there to help with the search, um, but it looks at this stage that this street will remain closed at least until they find those three people well or otherwise, Sarah. Okay, thank you.